Hello everyone. Today I'm going to talk about C++ class and function templates. Definition. A template is a blueprint or formula for creating generic class or a function, which does not depend on a particular data type. Class hemp template. The form is template, uh, class type, the class, class name, and then the actual class block. Function template. The form is template, the class type, return type, function name, parameters, and then the function block. Lesson, I will demonstrate how to use a class and a function template in C++. Okay, so let's begin our uh, function and class template tutorial. Okay, so first off, I'm going to declare include IO stream for standard input output include string include vector for creating dynamic array include algorithm okay and gonna be using namespace standard um, I'm gonna go ahead and create uh, a class template The template will be template class t class my class. Going to create a couple public method void print t constant and percent x void print which is an overload vector of t and percent x void push t constant and percent x void print void okay and my private variable would be vector t vec okay um, I'm gonna create a couple of um, these template uh, function template class function so template class t void my class T push T constant and percent X so in this um, function I'm going to basically do a vec push back okay so I'm going to basically pushing back um, the value to vec vector of type t um, the actual value so understand that when we say uh, type or sorry class t it, it could be a string it could be a double it could be an integer so any generic type uh, that we can push into this vector then um, I'm gonna go ahead and create another one template class T um, sorry void my class T print T constant and X okay so in this case I'm gonna do a print of any value any uh, generic type constant so it's going to be standard c out x and line okay then I'm going to create another um, function it's going to handle vector t right? so template class t void my class print 
vector t ampersand x. So in this um, uh, function, I will. Uh, oop, uh, I'm basically missing type t there. Okay, so I'm gonna basically print out. Uh, iterate through the vector and print out each item in the vector. So for i, sorry, int i equal 0 to i less than uh, x size i plus plus standard out c out uh, x i and like. So that would be uh, that function. Then um, I'm going to go ahead and create another one. Overloaded template class t void my class t print void. And in this um, um, function, I'm going to go ahead and uh, print out everything in the vector t that we declare up there. So for i, sorry, for int i equals 0 to i less than vec size i plus plus standard c out vec i and line okay so that is the end of our last function f for the overloaded print then i'll go ahead and create um, a function template so in this case we're going to call uh, template so this is a function template And we're going to call it template uh, type name. And it's going to be type of t. t constant n percent max. And we pass it a vector of t. Vector t. And n percent vector. Okay. So in. Um, this function we're gonna sort we're gonna create an anonymous sorry um, we're gonna do a sort so sort uh, vec beginning vec n and then I'm gonna declare an anonymous uh, function constant so anonymous always start with a uh, left square brace and an end with a square um, bracket. Called constant t n percent a, constant t n percent b. Okay. Uh, hmm. Yep, I got a extra parenthesis there. So constant t and percent constant t and percent b. Okay. Um, okay. No. No. I'm missing something. So I gotta do return a less than b parenthesis here. So what I'm trying to do is I'm going to go through and sort the vector uh, from uh, beginning of the vector to the end and my anonymous method that I'm using will compare if the A is less than B uh, it's going to sort it correctly based on this criteria. Then um, I'm going to go ahead and return vec of vec size minus one so I'm going to return basically 
um, the um, the largest value inside the vector so that's what this method is going to do okay so let's begin our main method so our main function and I'm going to go ahead and declare um, a couple of uh, variable so first off I'm going to call my class string and I call it um, string object here and string object okay I'm gonna uh, do print hello world okay uh, and then so this should be able to print hello world now what if I want to print out a double so I would need to declare my class double double object and I say double print uh, let's say 55.52 so that's printing a double right there so you can see that these two uh, type of class, uh, especially the class template, allow you to create a class for string, a class for double. Uh, and then you can pass in uh, a string if you want, and if you want to pass in a double, you can. So uh, it's a generic type um, class. Okay. Now let's save this and do a print to see what the result is. Okay, compile. Now we go to uh, um, and execute the demo. As you can see that we print out hello world and then 55.52. Okay. So let's create um, a vector of double and we call this vect um, of 4, 3, 2 and a half, 5, 7, 5.5, 5, 5, 11, 5, 8. So we created a vector of doubles. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pass it into our uh, function called max here and so we're going to do c out max value max vect right so we should say vec double because this is a vector of the double okay let's save it and then compile execute and it returns back 11.5 is the maximum value in the um, list of vector. So 4, 3, 2.5, 5, 7.5, 11.5. So the um, largest number is 11.5. That is correct. Now let's say I'm going to create a vector of vector string. Vector of string. So I call this vec string, and I'm going to initialize this as a B D E G and F uh, I'm gonna return okay I'm, I'm gonna call max again and max of Vec string. So, what do you think it's going to return? Let's compile the code and execute the program. It returned G as uh, my max string. Basically, it sorts it by alphabet order. G would be your uh, your last one. 
Okay, so um, that's the example for vect string and the example for vect double. Now I'm going to go ahead and uh, go ahead and uh, push a couple of uh, value into my vector. So let's say I push um, one. So I, I'm going to push some string into the vector. So string object push two. And let's print out our vector. Okay, let's save it, compile, and then execute. So you can see it's sorting it. Um, one, I'm sorry, it's going to print it out one, two, three without any sorting. So that's what the print, um, yeah, that's what the print method is uh, doing for us. It's it's actually go through the vector and print one by one. Okay. So um, I have uh, um, okay. So what if I want to print out? Um, the whole vector. I can pass in a vector of string, so I can pass in vec string for this. And we can see that it actually printed out A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Okay. So you can do a lot with uh, a class template and function template based on the example that I'm giving you. Okay, so if you like this uh, tutorial and the example that I've given you, uh, please subscribe to my channel and uh, see you next time. Thank you very much for watching.